Okay, I wanted to just do a quick review of the Big Ass Fan 500 EVAP cooler. It is massive. The video will not do it justice, but I'm standing at head height here. Just so you can see how it works, I removed the upper plate sitting over there. <clears throat> Basically, tips and tricks. Don't crank this too far open. I'll go after that after, so. Oh, it works. The water drips across this membrane somewhat evenly. And through process of evaporation, cools the air. And you can see our shop. It's about 10,000 square feet. And it gets hot in here. It is currently 33 degrees outside and it's pretty comfortable in here. And you can adjust, we have our water hose inlet here. You can adjust flow to that top part with this. And we found the best for us is that's all the way closed. One full turn open plus a little bit seems to be perfect for us. Otherwise, water starts spitting out of the front here and you don't want that either. So, kind of the controls, you can turn the fans on and off with that. Water pump goes on and off with that. You can have a motion detector so it only comes on when there's people around. And you press that when you're shutting it down. It will run for 15 minutes without water coming out to dry out the membrane. The pump will shut off by itself when the water level gets too low. And there's a water reservoir uh, amount there. This gauge is very slow to react, so when you're filling it up, you won't notice it going up for a while. Uh, what we've done seems to be working the best is halfway through the day, we'll pull the drain. There's a drain plug under here, and you just drain out all the water and fill it with fresh cold water. Ours is city supplied, but it does yield better cooling in the shop if we do that. Otherwise, this water gets to about 20 degrees, and I'll show you that with the FLIR sensor here in a little bit. And that's kind of the gist of the operation. Let's have a look at it through the infrared lens. Okay, so before I bring out the actual sensors, blue and dark blue are the cold spots, and red is hot. We've found this is a west-facing door. We keep all the sunlight doors shut. And on the other end of the shop, we have our north, no, our south door and our north door are open just for cross flow, but they are shaded. And we'll just give you a little bit of a sensor check here. Okay, so you can see there's about a 10 degree difference between just how hot that door is and how cold the air is coming out of the evap cooler. And if you check on the water level, it's basically a little bit colder than the air coming out, but the colder you can have that water we found, the colder the air is coming out and that only makes sense. And compared to outside though, if we open this door and show you how hot it is outside. It is a very hot start to summer here. That is the current temperature on the pavement. Very hot. Normally in the shop, it would be 90 degrees for sure. And now we're keeping it cool, but not cold. So you can even see on the back side here, hot and cold spots on the membrane itself. So it's 85 on the back side and the air coming out. Now that I open the door, it's actually going up already. And that gives you a good idea of how these things operate. So we're happy with how much it's cooling the shop. Our shop's 10,000 square feet, and we have two paint booths that are constantly baking during the day. So, yeah. So far, a good review. 
do not put too much water through it. Your humidity will go up like crazy and you have to have some doors open with these things. Otherwise your shop gets humid and it will not cool anymore.